By the end of this video, we're gonna add hearts to our player's UI, and then when we get hit by an enemy, our health's gonna go down and our player's gonna flash red. In the future, we're gonna add the game over screen, but for now, let's keep it simple. So in our game, we have this section for UI. If I open this up, you can see this is where our progress bar is kept. We're also gonna put our health bar in here. So I'm gonna right click and go create empty, and call this heart container. Then on this, we're gonna click add component and search for a horizontal layout group. And we can leave this with child alignment upper left. Then I'm gonna right click on our heart container and go UI image. Then I'm gonna select a heart image and make this red. And I'm gonna name this heart prefab. We can now see our horizontal layout group at work. If you copy and paste your heart prefab a few times, you'll see these appear in a horizontal line instead of stacking on top of each other. If we double click on our heart container, we can select the move tool and move this up to the place that we want it in our game. Our UI here is a canvas. We've got it set to scale with screen size and set to our target resolution, which I have as 1920 by 1080. You can see this is also in our game view. To make sure when we change our heart container in this view, it'll be the same no matter what screen size you have. Cool, so now with our heart container selected, I'm gonna add a new script and call this health UI. Now we can double click to open it up. So the variables we'll want is a public image, which we'll import in using unityengine.ui, call this heart prefab. Then we'll want a public sprite called full heart sprite, and then another public sprite for our empty heart sprite. Then we're gonna want a private list of images, and we'll just call this hearts. We'll set this to a new list of images. Now we don't need start or update, but we will want a public void set max hearts, and we'll pass in an int of max hearts. Then to clear up our previous max health, we'll go for each image heart in hearts. We're gonna destroy that heart.game object. Then we'll go hearts.clear. Then we'll do a for loop of int i equals zero and i is less than max hearts colon i plus plus. So for each heart in our max hearts, we're gonna go image new heart equals instantiate heart prefab comma transform. This transform sets the parent of our heart prefab to be our heart container. Then we'll go new heart dot sprite equals full heart sprite. We'll go new heart color equals color dot red. And then we'll go hearts dot add new heart. So I'll add this to our list. Next, we're going to want another public void. And this time it's going to be called update hearts. And in here, we're going to pass in an int of our current health. Then in here, we're going to have another for loop. So I'm just going to copy the one from above and paste it here. And instead of less than max hearts, we're going to go hearts dot Count. So for each one of our hearts, we're going to say if i is less than our current health, then hearts square brackets i dot sprite equals our full heart sprite and our hearts square bracket i dot color equals color dot red. Else we've been hit, so we want an empty heart. So if we copy this from above and instead set the sprite to be an empty heart sprite and set the color to be white. Cool, and that's it for the health UI script. So back in Unity, we'll go to our prefabs folder and we'll drag through this heart prefab from the hierarchy into our folder. And I'll delete these three heart prefabs we have in our heart container. Select our heart container and then drag heart prefab into this slot. Then for the full heart sprite, I'm gonna select the same heart that we used before. I'm getting these from the tile map in Kenny Games, which I have linked below. And then the empty heart sprite, there's another heart on this tile map just before the first one of a smaller heart, which we'll use for our empty heart sprite. Now our UI is set up, we can go to our player and on here, I'm gonna add a new component and add a new script and call it player health. And I'm gonna double click on this to open it up. First, we want a public int for our max health, which I'm gonna to set to a default free, and then a private int for our current health. And then we'll add a public health UI for our health UI. First of all, in start, we wanna set our current health to be our max health, and then we'll go health UI dot set max hearts to our max health. We can get rid of our update function and instead we'll go on trigger into 2D because I use a trigger collision for our enemies hits. We'll go enemy, enemy equals collision dot get component and pass in enemy in here. And we'll say if enemy, so if we have an enemy object, which means we did collide with an enemy, then we're gonna take damage. We haven't written this take damage function yet. So down below, let's go private void, take damage, and then we'll pass in an int damage. Then we'll go current health, minus equals damage. Then we can use our health UI and call update hearts and pass in our current health. And then we'll say if current health is less than or equal to zero, our player is dead. So here we'll call game over or do some animations and anything else that happens when your player dies. We'll take a look at that in a future video. But for now we can see our take damage function wants an int of damage that we want to hit our player with. Right now our enemy doesn't have a damage variable on it. So if we hold down control and click on enemy, we can go to our enemy script and in here we can go public int damage and set this to a default of one. Back in player health, we can now go enemy.damage and pass that into our take damage script. 
Cool, so now back in Unity, we'll go to our player and in here you can see we need to pass in our health UI. So that's on our heart container. So let's drag that from our hierarchy into our script and then press play. Now you can see we've got our three heart containers at the top. You can see we got hit three times. Because it's so fast and difficult to see, let's add an effect of flashing our character red whenever we get hit by our enemy. So in our player health script, after we take damage and update our hearts, let's get our character to flash red. To do that, we can use a coroutine since we want it to flash for an amount of time and then go back to our normal color. So go private, I enumerator, and we'll call this flash red. So what we want to do is grab our player sprite renderer and set the color to be red. Since we'll be hit over and over, we should store our sprite renderer at the top in a variable. So let's go private sprite renderer and call it sprite renderer. And then in our start, we'll go sprite renderer equals get component sprite renderer. This will grab our sprite renderer from the object this script is attached to, which is our player. Now we can use this down below and go sprite renderer color equals color.red. Now let's get it to stay red for just a short amount of time. So we'll go yield return new, wait for seconds, and we'll pass in 0.2f. So after that amount of time, we can grab our sprite renderer.color and set it back to white. Also now with this, up in our take damage, we can go start coroutine, then call flash red. Cool, and that's everything we need. Let's go back to Unity and press play. Now, when an enemy spawns, oh, there he is. And we get hit, you can see we flash red. You can also see our hearts are going down. Obviously right now, we lose our health and we don't die. So in the next video, we're gonna be adding a game over screen and a retry button. If you wanna grab the code and all the prefabs for this video, you can check it out on my Patreon. But cool, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.